to Dominion Energy, Library of Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. It sure was inspiring to hear all of those comments made about me earlier. I thank everyone for them. And I also thank God for all of my blessings. And it truly is a blessing to be among the strong men and women honorees for 2018. So I thank you, Dominion Energy again, Library of Virginia, Ms. Marquette, and everyone who played a part in selecting me. It is an added blessing to have the student writing contest based on my life story, one incident there. The winners have done an excellent job, and you can see why they will be future leaders of our country. <laughs> I appreciate everyone who played a role in this remarkable event. Never would I have imagined such to occur. It is a great honor and a most humbling experience for me. And as I prepared to attend this evening, I reflected just for a few minutes on some of the events that shaped my life. After the death of my grandmother, I simply wanted to become an excellent nurse, care for geriatric patients, and teach others how to care for their ailing loved ones. And at that time, I applied to go to a registered nurse program in Roanoke, and I was not accepted because of my color. My mother borrowed $75 for me to be admitted to an LPN program, a licensed practical nurse program. And for her, that was a big deal because we used the farm as collateral and she knew she was in danger of losing that. I went to work part-time, quickly helped her pay off that bill, and she never borrowed anything else against the farm. <laughs> <laughs> And as I reflected, I thought, many times I have faced various uh, challenges. And little did I know that those challenges would lead me here this evening. So it was just the blessing that I did face those. I believe each of us have a road to travel, a path to follow. And while on that path, you will have adversities and may encounter trials and tribulations. Each person's paths will differ. I encourage you to tread your path with prayer, pride, and perseverance. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that there were many, many individuals that touched my life and worked with me in every phase of my nursing career and my education and training. One of those was, as you have heard, Dean Laura at the University of Virginia and many supporters, along with my family, my grandmother, and my mother, when I thought of quitting, I would think of them, and I would get the strength, I would pray, and I would go on for a little while longer. Some of my supporters are here this evening. They are my family and friends, my VA family and friends, my University of Virginia family and friends, and others, especially from the medical center. I know, I know they're out there somewhere. I can't see where they are. Just wave. <laughs> Recently, one of the doctoral students reached out to me from the University of Virginia. She's a, a history major in nursing. And as she visited my family, she started doing a story on my life story. And that inspired me. She says I inspired her, but she has been inspiring for me. And I was invited to the University of Virginia by Dean Fontaine and some of the other faculty members. And today, my portrait is mounted on the wall at the University of Virginia based on that. <laughs> While I think it is easier sometimes just to give up, when faced with challenges, I would say to anyone, continue to work hard. Pray, never give up on your goal, and ask for help. There are many caring individuals out there who are willing to help and assist you. Amazing things can happen that will leave you shocked, grateful, and on a surprisingly wonderful path, as has been my case and is continuing this evening. I thank God for my journey, and I thank all of you for being here with me this evening. Thank you. <laughs> 